Good morning, Sunbeams. Welcome to another story time and singing session. Are you ready to say our prayer together? From the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose, from my back to my front to my wiggly fingers, God loves me. Amen. For the next few weeks, we're going to be thinking about families. Today, we're thinking about our mummies. And in a minute, we'll have a story about a mummy. What do our mummies do for us? Can you think of anything, Zach? Always thinking. Oh, yes. Zach says, our mummies wash our faces. That's very true. They're good at keeping us clean, aren't they? Anything else? Ah, oh, Zach says, our mummies give us brilliant cuddles and that is definitely true isn't it what do your mummies do for you perhaps that's something you could think about today i have a mouse family here there's a daddy mouse and a mummy mouse and a little girl and a baby mouse we all have different families don't we i wonder who is in your family you might have noticed that I'm sitting in a tent today. That's because the mummy in our story lived in a tent. Shall we find out who she was? This Bible story is from the Old Testament in the very first book of the Bible. Sarah was a lady who loved God, but she was sad because she didn't have any children. Can you all make a sad face? Do a sad face, Zach. There you go. She would love to be a mummy and give hugs and wash faces and tell stories. Sarah thinks she's too old to be a mummy now. One day, three men passed the tent where Sarah lived. Abraham, her husband, invited them to stay for dinner. Sarah went into the tent and began to make some food for everybody. Soon the food was ready and they all enjoyed some lovely meat and some fresh bread and some milk to drink. After dinner, Sarah went back in to tidy the tent. Suddenly, she got quite a surprise. The men were talking outside and she could hear them. One of the men said, Sarah is going to have a baby. Next year, she will be a mummy. Sarah thought they were joking. She laughed and laughed. Can you laugh? Can you laugh? Should we all laugh together? You ready? <laughs> she laughed and laughed. I'm too old, she said. I can't have a baby. But the men said it wasn't a joke. God was going to make her a mummy. God had promised Sarah would have her own baby to look after. And do you know, the next year, Sarah did. She had a baby boy and she called him Isaac. She loved him very much and she was very happy. Can you do a happy face now? Brilliant. The name Isaac means laughter. I wonder what your name means. Perhaps some of you older ones could look it up with your mummies today. And if you have baby brothers and sisters, you could look up what their names mean too. If you do that, perhaps then you'd like to draw a picture, especially for mummy today, as a special way of telling her how much you love her. You could even make your own tent to play in today. I think it's time to sing. So grab your shakers and get ready to join in. We had a weather song while we were thinking about the weather. So I found us a family song to sing every week for the next few weeks. And it goes like this, you'll know the tune. 
Thank you for my family. Thank you, God, that they love me. All they do and all they say, caring for me every day. Thank you for my family. Thank you, God, that they love me. We'll sing that again next week. <coughs> I thought it's a long time since we've sung the wheels on the bus, so I thought we'd do that one today. Are you ready to join in, Zach, with the actions? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day long. The bell on the bus goes ding-a-ling-a-ling, ding-a-ling-a-ling. Ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a -a the bell on the bus goes ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -a all day long. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all day long. Shall we sing Jesus Wants Us All to Know? We all know that one quite well, I think. If you need to row because of the tune, feel free. Jesus wants us all to know we can be his friends. He loves and cares for each of us. Jesus is our friend. And shall we do it if you're happy and you know it? We're going to do clap your hands, stamp your feet and jump up and down. So get ready for some jumping in the last verse. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, jump up and down. If you're happy and you know it, jump up and down. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, jump up and down. Now, it seems like ages, I might be wrong, but it seems like ages since we've sang Oh, to be a friend of God. So I thought we could sing that one. If you want to march, you can. Zach's going to use his shaker. Oh, to be a friend of God, the best thing you can be. To love and trust God every day, yes, that's the life for me. And when I clap, you can clap. And when I sing, you can sing to love and trust God every day. Yes, that's the life for me. Should you do that one again? Oh, to be a friend of God, the best thing you can be. To love and trust God every day. Yes, that's the life for me. And when I clap, you can clap. And when I sing, you can sing to love and trust God every day. Yes, that's the life for me. Brilliant. Now, I know we like Peekaboo. And I've got to be honest, I can't remember if this is the Peekaboo song we sing or not, but I think it is. So, can you grab a cushion or if you've got a little blanket, something like that, and we'll do peekaboo. You ready? Peekaboo, I see you with your smiling face. Peek. Peekaboo, I see you 
in your hiding place. Boo! <laughs> Should we do that one again? Peekaboo, I see you in your hiding place. Peek! Peekaboo, I see you with your smiling face. Boo! Very good, Zach. Right, I think it's time for the whole world and then our prayer to finish with. So, should we do the whole world? We'll do the whole world and the mummies and the daddies and the children. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mummies and the daddies in his hands. He's got the mummies and the daddies in his hands. He's got the mummies and the daddies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mummies and the children. In his hands, he's got the mummies and the children. In his hands, he's got the mummies and the children. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the daddies and the children. In his hands, he's got the daddies and the children. In his hands, he's got the daddies and the children. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. I went a bit wrong then, didn't I? Never mind. We got through it and we just kept singing. So, I hope you've had fun. That's it for today. And we'll finish with our prayer. God bless you. And God bless me. Amen. Remember to get in touch if you need anything or if you'd like prayer for anything at all. See you next week, everybody. Bye bye.